Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Tri5 Guy, and today we're gonna to work on the 57 Chevy again. So as you can see down the tunnel, uh, you've gotta put the, the drive shaft, it's gotta sit in there before the um, before we can put the motor and transmission in. So uh, yeah, that's it's over here at the moment. Steve painted it all, so it's just drying at the moment. So let that sit for a few hours more before we stick it in there. And uh, we're gonna, We've stripped all the tape off it. We've got the hinges out. Um, they're ready to be painted, which are over here. We're just gonna scuff them and we're gonna uh, get some base on them. And then obviously the doors are gonna come back off and they'll be hanging out and that's, um, they'll get more color on it then. So we're just gonna base them and just go over them when we paint the actual uh, uh, door um, jam area. So, Here's those, um, it's actually, they're like torsion bars, I guess. Um, uh, they're all painted black. They stick in these grooves right there. You can see them there, I know it's a bit dark. And they go underneath and they keep tension on the, um, on the truck lid to stay up. And here's that mat Steve got, just a temporary sort of mat. I, I actually like it and prefer it uh, than carpet. Uh, the tubs come up clean, we're gonna give them a quick uh, buff and uh, clean up any specks of anything in there. And obviously, because it's been tubbed, we have to modify around the tub uh, so they fit. So carefully mark it and cut them out. They'll look neat. And the backboard, and I reckon, perfecto. I mean, geez, what else do you want? Um, yeah, so we're gonna do that. Trunk lids over there, underneath that plastic. Doors are over in that corner. So hang out, guys, let's do it. So we've got the uh, torsion bars in. As you can see, there they are there. Right there, they go across here to here. They're in. I didn't videotape it. I didn't think you guys wanted to hear two grown man groaning. So, but they're in. They weren't that difficult. They're just under a bit of tension, that's all. So they're in. Now we're gonna put on the trunk lid. So stay tuned for that. Okay, here's the uh, correct washers for a trunk lid on a tri five. They look like this. So it goes through like that. So sit on like that. Two for this side, two for that side. And that's what we're going to do next is uh, fit the uh, trunk lid. All right, the trunk lid's gonna come off again, so we're gonna call it good there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's gonna come off again when we repaint it. So, I mean, that's that's good enough for now. Uh, so we're now we're just gonna uh, put all the mechanisms back on, the, the uh, latches and locks and plates and stuff so that we it won't fly open when we're on the road. But uh, yeah, so that'll be next. Okay, trunk's on. It's got to come back off again, but uh, it's on. Uh, and lock. Let me open it. Uh, I seen a video of a guy on YouTube that couldn't, it was like that, the lock was undone. It's on a 55 Chevy. And they couldn't work out how to open it and they put a crowbar under here and lifted it till it popped the trunk open. I couldn't believe it. And uh, this guy is, uh, yeah, he's got a channel on YouTube. So that's on. Trunk's on. Uh, Steve pulled apart the, uh, these, are these being modified like that, Steve? Is that an original one, Steve? 
It's a factory on with the top taken off. Middle, middle the groove in it for the wires to pass through. All right, so it's got a, the top's been taken off, or they milled the top off, as he said, and they made a channel in there. Is it like a channel in there, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a channel in there for the wires to go through for the uh, power windows or whatever, right? Yeah. Um, That's what those are for the power windows. Yeah, these are for the uh, power windows. That's pretty cool. And he pulled them apart and then he replaced uh, one bushing, didn't you, mate? Yeah. One, one on each, did you do? Yeah, I did. He replaced one on each bushing bushing there and he put an extra circlet that didn't have, or did it have That's a circlet? Right, and then you put a clip on the bottom, there you go. They don't have a clip, do they? Mm -hmm. So you machine that clip, that face, and I didn't see you do that, on what? Face on wave. Oh, wow, you were fast. Five hours later. Um, so, oh, always hating. <laughs> always, always hating. Yeah, no, no, he's done a good job, as always. So I've got to splash some primer on that. He's gonna tape those wires up for me. Sure. It's awesome. And um, yeah, we're gonna push this, I was gonna say bitch, we're gonna put, because it's not a bitch car, is it? Well, it's a cheat, it's a Bel Air. It, oh, it is a Bel Air too, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I've got the 150, I've got the working class man car. Uh, it is thunderstorming outside, so we're gonna have to be quick or check the weather forecast. So this is gonna go out. We've got a few things we're gonna paint, the hinges, and uh, go on from there, guys. So stick with us, please. All right, these are all painted, four of them, one, two, three, four, and you can count two. And these hold the, um, the fenders to the body, to the cowl, right? Yeah, to the cowl penalty. So th this is the underneath section. You're not even gonna see them, but you know, I'll just put some color on it. They don't have to be cleared, but um, the color is gonna be underneath. So that's right, and Steve, yeah. Yeah, because they flip over like that. And yeah, so how much do you see of this? Well, tell you what. Uh, just the top here is all you see. And the arch, as the door opens, if you were to look into the door, there it is there, right? It'll just, uh, yeah, that's all you see. Anyway, all right. Steve's put the, the uh, drive shaft in position. So you gotta get that in, right, mate? Well, there's no other way about it. It's gotta go in first. Yeah, right. Oh, and I see you tucked it up under there, too. Yeah, points On. four back in the hand. That's good. Yeah, there is some CA for it. It should. Transmission for our ADE and the motor. So let's start putting that in position. You need a hand with that? I'll give you a hand if you need it. You need to go this way? Yeah, I meant to, I meant to spoil that thing up before I start. There you go. But this wheel here is not helping, is it? That can't be helping. I've got the back of a tranny. Have you ever held the back of a tranny? No. Steve, no. Oh, that's great. Good to know. Four converters in there. Oh, that's a beautiful looking tall converter. Holy shit. Yep. It's back in. Yeah. Make sure it was seated back into the, on the splines of the transmission. All right, guys, let's, uh, let's get this motor organized and we'll put it in and yeah. Right, so let's go as high as we can with the stand. Do we need to hold that transmission while you jack it? I don't know how. I think it's pretty stable, actually. Right. If you care to crack that thing up, can you reach it? I can. Uh, do I? Oh, uh, yep. No worries. So Steve bolted up the two bolts for the transmission mount. We've still got it on the jack stand here. So it's fitting in there nicely. So that's done. And now we're going to start setting up for the engine to go in. There it is there. So hopefully this is the last time it goes in, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Chains on. Oh, 
Were you running this originally, Steve? Was that the idea you was going to run a... Yes. Was it going to be carb or were you going to use like a... No, it was the uh, engine. Okay. Well, it worked out good that you used it because if yeah. an engine left it out... I, I would have... That, it would be in there if that was clear with it. Oh, really? Yeah. You think you'd get more power? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, much in there. Steve's installing the transmission um, valve housing bolts to the engine and then the motor has to just squeeze that away about I reckon uh, three quarters of an inch and that's it pretty much installed itself. We just guide it in there. So looks fantastic in there. course doing up all these bolts and stuff missing firewalls and making sure we're not chipping anything Next, uh, the engine to the transmission bolts are done and tight. Engine mount bolts are in position. Just got to put the nuts on and hold them. Steve's so got the transmission mount now. But uh, everything fits good. All right, drive shafts in. That was a bit of a pain in the ass. Drive shafts in, torque converter bolts are in, transmission bolts are in, all the cross member bolts. U joints, uh, U bolts for the drive shaft. And let's see what it looks like on the ground with the weight of the engine on it. There goes the back. Comes the front. Yeah, great. A lot lower, huh? What would you say, 500 pounds heavier? 600 with the 650, 700 with the transmission? At least 750 with the training, I reckon. Yeah, so, well, yeah, it sits. Huh? Just a little bit, I don't know if it'll be lower now or not. Well, the sheet metal adds some weight. Oh, yeah. That's actually just about down here. All right. Well, that's for the motor. Now we'll start putting accessories on. Okay, we're just gonna bang in these hooker headers. And I, in my opinion, there's nothing better than a hooker. There really isn't. There really isn't. They're good headers. And yeah, so we're gonna bang them in. They're gonna be ceramic coated. He doesn't know what color yet, but he still has to set up some uh, 
tile tile pop extensions, but not the tile pop extensions there. Set up. Um, yeah, the O2 sensors and the collector flanges. Collector flanges, that's right. It's got to set them up and put the O2 sensors, then they're going to get coated. But for now, obviously, he has to do those modifications to them. So uh, we're going to hook them up and uh, yeah, we're going to put them on. <laughs> Now, are they just um, like Alex pointing to 57 Chevy headers? Yeah. Because there's no Corvette one, is there? That like... particular header there is for a unisteer rack. Okay. It's a 2293. I would rather have a 2292 because it doesn't have this weird tube there in the front. Yep. But uh, I bought these on a scratch and dip thing from Hooker for like half price. Worth 50 cent. Yeah. Right. So the headers are on and the uh, the uh, sniper um, intake's on. So that looks good now. Everything fits nice. Fantastic. Next thing we're going to do is door hinges. All right, these two are these two are kind of like sort of on. I mean, they're on, but they're not. We don't know because they these these hinges are designed that they have only got sideways adjustment, not up and down. The adjustment for uh, uh, side to side is here, um, up and down. It, side to side, side to side, and up and down, obviously, with these ones. That makes sense. Steve's so getting that one done now. If you notice, they're just uh, they're base coated, uh, just so we can get the colour in here. So when they're closed, you don't see much of it at all. Only the back side. So we're going to uh, set up a door next. So we've got the uh, door just close enough for the trip to Maine to get painted. Um, yeah, so like I said, got these gaps. I think it's just got to go out of skosh from there, but pretty close. Uh, the bottom definitely come out a little bit, but uh, we've got decent gaps and we're going to get all the locks situated, get them in. And uh, yeah, she's going back together. Definitely going back together. Yep. And Steve was saying this is the approximate ride height. So nothing hangs down lower than the frame of the car. Everything is everything is up above the bottom of the frame on this car. So there you go guys. Alright. Do the other door now. Well we're gonna put the locks in so we can open and close the doors. Now, Steve, if you were going to do that for reals for, for the last time, you would have to put on your um, the um, the hardware for all the windows. Do you know what I mean? The channels and stuff. Yeah, on a hard top, uh, on a sedan, definitely. But since we're just using these to, um, you know just to get it there. But, uh, yeah. Are they good quality America made parts, Steve? Absolutely. Are they really? Made in uh, Ohio. Really? 
Actually, all this stuff came from. No, oh, yeah. it, it came yeah. from a, like within probably 15 miles from Norwood, Ohio. The plant where this car came from originally is where all the stuff came from. Really? All the just, hardware? Just from a store. But yeah, but realize I think this is all 55 and they're out of Pennsylvania. I think they supply a lot of the suppliers, if that makes sense. They supply a lot of the vendors, but they're a supplier themselves. Yeah, I think they're uh, a minority supplier. They're almost everybody in Pennsylvania. Everyone in Pennsylvania. I saw it, yeah, maybe, yeah. Nothing against Amish people, they're a nice breed. Breed. <laughs> yeah, so Striker's got to come which way? Uh, if it's hitting where? It's to, it's to so Striker's got to come up? It's down, so, it's so the Striker's got to come up. If it's pulling the door up, down, that means it's too low. So what you do, Steve, is put your finger through the door latch. Do you know what I mean? And that, like you're opening the door. Oh my God. And just, yeah, now do them up and we're good to go. You have to put some mad mooks on that. That's exactly what I said. Bit of a shout out to mad mooks there. Is that so? It's opening, so that means it's not um, latching in. The height's alright, but it's just going to come out a little bit. Alright, yeah. Yep, yeah, nah, I was right. Okay. All right, so this is what we've got done in this video. We put the trunk lid back on. We put the motor, we engine and transmission in. Put this doors on, put the latches on. Engine transmission. This other door over here. Doors open good. Still need final adjustment. They've got to come off again. So there you go. Looks good, eh? Let us know what you think, guys, of the progress. Looks great. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Like I said, uh, engine, trans is in. Um, trunk's on. Yeah, getting there, doors are on too. So guys, please like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, hit the notification bell. I really appreciate it. Uh, so look out for more videos, eh? There she is, and there's Steve always looking at his phone. Alright guys, I'll see you later.